This is Idea Facts, and here are 10 things you don't know about Martin Luther King Jr. We celebrate MLK Day every year on the third Monday of January, but most people just don't know a whole lot about him. For example, Martin Luther King Jr. was born Michael King Jr. His father, however, traveled to Germany and was inspired by the Protestant Reformation leader, Martin Luther. He then changed his own name and the name of his five-year-old son to Martin Luther King. He was a prodigy. King was a gifted student who skipped ninth and 12th grade before enrolling at Morehouse College, where his father and maternal grandfather attended. He was age 15. He did not plan to become a minister. While his father, grandfather, and great-grandfather were Baptist ministers, King did not intend to follow in their footsteps until Morehouse President Benjamin E. Mays, a noted theologian, convinced him to reconsider. King was ordained at age 19 before he even finished his college degree in sociology. Two years before his famous speech at the March on Washington, King spoke at the same spot during the prayer pilgrimage for freedom on May 17, 1957. Before a crowd of 15 to 30,000 people, King delivered his first national address on the topic of voting rights. In his speech, in which he urged America to give us the ballot, this speech positioned him at the forefront of the civil rights movement. King was arrested for acts of civil obedience 30 times and also on trumped up charges, including when he was jailed in Montgomery, Alabama for driving 30 miles per hour in a 25 miles per hour zone. 10 years before his death, while signing copies of his book, Stride Toward Freedom, King was stabbed in the chest by a woman with a letter opener. King later issued a statement from his hospital bed, affirming his nonviolent principles and wishing no ill will on the woman. His last speech in Memphis, April 1968, he told an audience at Mason Temple Church, Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place, but I'm not concerned about that now. I've seen the promised land, and I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we, as a people, will get to the promised land, and I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything, not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. King recognized that wage issues were civil rights issues. Now our struggle is for genuine equality, which means economic equality. For we know now that it isn't enough to integrate lunch counters. What does it profit a man to be able to eat at an integrated lunch counter if he doesn't have enough money? to buy a hamburger. But we don't have to argue with anybody, King said. We don't have to curse and go around acting bad with our words. We don't need any bricks and bottles. We don't need any Molotov cocktails. We just need to go around to these stores and to these massive industries in our country and say, God sent us here to say to you that you're not treating all his children right. And we, we come here to ask you to make the first item on your agenda fair treatment where God's children are concerned. Now, if you are not prepared to do that, we do have an agenda that we must follow, and our agenda calls for withdrawing economic support from you. Thank you for visiting Idea Facts. Please come back and visit us. We'll soon be posting many more videos on things that you didn't learn in school.